Hello, welcome to today's lesson, art lesson, yay! Uh, today is going to be kind of like uh, the Play-Doh that we had done on, I don't even remember which day. Um, so it's going to be similar to the Play-Doh, but this is just the salt dough mix, and this one we can bake, and um, then we can paint it up. So two, um, two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons warm water, and then four tablespoons of flour. So it's very similar to the Play-Doh mix. We're not gonna use the oil because even though we're baking it, that oil will still stay there and then our objects will be a little bit greasy. Um, and then we're not gonna put in the food coloring because we can paint it. Now, if you don't have paint and you want to make some of the objects be colorful, you can do food coloring and create your objects that way. So I've got those in there, all of my ingredients in here, two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of water, and four tablespoons of flour. And I'm just gonna mix that up to make my dough. Doo, doo, doo. How is everybody? We're kind of two weeks into this. I hope everybody is doing all right. Hope everybody is still having fun learning and creating and spending all of this time with our families, if they are able to be in the house with us or hope you guys are calling people, maybe going on walks to visit people. I've been doing that. That's very helpful. Anyway, so you'll mix this all up into a dough and then we can start to sculpt with it. Now you wanna have a little bit of water on hand because this is gonna help us, um, the dough stick to each other. Cause we're gonna make a couple of different sections here. We're gonna look at how to make a little coil pot with this dough. All right, so I've got my dough all mixed together pretty well. I'm just gonna take a little bit off to make the base for my coil pot. And we're just gonna do a little round one. So with that dough, I'm just going to form it into a little round disc. I don't want it to be too thin. I want it to have some thickness, but not a whole lot. So just kind of create that how you want it to be, how big you want it to be. I would start off not too big. And then we're just gonna take another little section here and this is gonna be where the coils happen. So we're gonna roll this out. If your dough is kind of falling apart, just kind of smush it back together. Roll it around. So you just want it to be a long coil. I'm just having to press my clay here, my dough here, quite a bit. If it's really dry, you can always add more water to your mixture too. So to get this to stick, we're gonna just dip our finger the tip of our finger in the water and we're just going to do a nice little rim get the rim a little wet and then we'll get our coil a little wet and we'll just stick that right there onto it so that that water is going to help the dough stick to each other so on those ends you can throw a little bit of water in there and then just kind of pinch it together so then it will stay. So you got your first coil on there. I'm gonna mix a little bit of water into this. So I'm just getting the tip of my finger wet and just getting the dough just a little bit wet. You don't want it to get too wet because if it's too wet, it'll just start to be really sticky. So just slowly add water in there if it's just a little bit too dry. Okay, so then I can take another section 
and I can coil that out. If you get your coil a little bit longer, you can always just pinch, pinch it off. So then you'll just add some water to your pot and then add water to your coil and then just build on top there. Now, if you get it and it's too short like that, it doesn't quite come all the way around. You can always take another little section and you can just throw it right in there. If you want to get really creative, you can throw shapes into your coils. So you can roll out a coil. And then you could roll that coil up and make a little design if you want. And you can stick that on there. And you could do that all the way around. Um, you can even throw almost like a pillar or a column, or if you just want to roll up a little ball, you can do that too. So you can create little designs around your coil pot as well. You can also do little beads. We had talked about beads with the Play-Doh. So you can roll up your dough into a ball and you can stick a toothpick through there. Um, and then you'll wanna make your hole larger. Full disclosure, when I was making my examples, I did not make the holes large enough. So they kind of closed up on me. Because this dough does kind of expand a little bit in the thicker spots. So you wanna make sure that your holes are nice and wide and then you can get your thread through there. You could also use cookie cutters, um, and then you could make almost like a, it's almost like, looks like a cookie. I wouldn't eat this though. It's not very flavorful, but you can use a cookie cutter. You can use just your hands and shape it. You can do little pendants. Um, yeah, with the cookie cutter one, I'm gonna turn that into a magnet for the fridge. So you get all of your items created. You preheat your oven to 250 and then bake that for, it's almost two hours. Um, I baked mine for two hours and it dried it out pretty well. I had some thick beads too and they all dried out. So 250 for two hours, gets the dough nice and dry. And then once that comes out of the oven, then you can begin to paint it. So here's a, the coil pot that I had done earlier, and I just painted each one of the coils a different color. I just went ahead and threw green all on the inside because green is my favorite. Here are those beads that I had done, but unfortunately they closed up. So what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna turn them into eggs and put them in my basket for Easter. I also created a Easter bunny pendant. The hole is large enough there still, so I can get a thread through that, but I could make, turn it into a necklace. Or if you have some sort of pin fastener, it could even be a, a brooch. Mm. I made a little mom heart. Hi, mom. I know she's watching, so hi, mom. <laughs> but Mother's Day is coming up pretty soon. It's just a couple months away, so you could make something for your mom or your dad. But when you're painting, you'll want to start with a solid color, and then if you want to add little details, you can always throw those details on after that 
base coat dries. So I could do little speckles on my eggs, or if you want to paint designs. If you have Easter cookie cutters, you could create eggs, and then you could paint Easter eggs that way. It's pretty fun. You can do anything, right? Possibilities are always endless with art. So yeah, you can just throw those eggs into the basket. And then you got yourself a little Easter egg. Like I said, you can get a magnet. If you have magnet, throw the magnet on the back of that. And then it could be a fridge magnet. Yeah, this might be a fun thing. You can make something for your friend and then you could go drop it off at their door if you're missing them or anybody in your family that you miss. You can always make them a little something and drop it off at their house. So yeah, that's how you do it. I'm just gonna run through all of those steps, those ingredients one more time. Two parts, or two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of water, four tablespoons of flour. That's how you make your dough. You can sculpt it, create with it. If you're sticking it together, you might wanna dab a little bit of water and that'll help it stick. Then you'll bake it into the oven at 250 for two hours, let it dry out. Once it's dried and cooled, you can then paint on it. And then you can give it as gifts if you want or use it to decorate in your house. All right, like always share your projects that you make and I hope you guys have a really wonderful time creating. Thank you.